For the past month, I've been trying to buy my next motorbike and I've never been more frustrated in my life. <laughs> the state of the average business these days is absolutely appalling. I'm a customer with cash in hand, eager to buy. I'm trying to get into contact with a business to buy from them. Then it takes them a minimum of a week to respond to me. Some dealerships haven't even gone back to me after three weeks. And I don't blame them, you know, they're busy. Imagine your business's problem is not that it doesn't get leads. It gets leads, it's just too slow to get to them all. Your solutions are a call center or salesman manning the phone and email list, which are both very expensive solutions. Well, damn, if only there was a cheap and scalable way to not waste your leads. Unfortunately, it's AI. And I say unfortunately because most people think that AI is unreliable. She's chasing the reflection. <laughs> okay, but I can't really blame a business for not trusting AI with its potential customers. I didn't either until I tested it. It took my AI chatbots more than 20 minutes of constant pressure on their weak spots before they actually broke character. But most people haven't tested it for themselves, so most people don't trust it, which makes sense. Only when I tested it myself, I trusted within my own business. After all, how can I sell a product that I don't even use or have faith in? A customer that doesn't feel valued is very unlikely to stick around. I mean, duh. Imagine you're walking around in a grocery store and you can't find something, so you ask the staff and they're all just like, no, we're too busy, sorry, can't help you, man. I mean, of course, you're just gonna leave and go someplace where people actually have the time and are willing to help you. So many businesses are focused on getting more people through the door with paid ads and marketing campaigns but they waste so many of the leads that are already coming through the door but talking about a problem doesn't solve it so I spoke to a local business and this is what I was able to do for them before the AI system 32% of people that emailed the business first would engage in a conversation when the business would respond to that email and only 5% of those conversations ended in a sale now with the AI that I made for them it's 61% and 23%, which is not mind blowing or earth shattering, but it's good. I'm not gonna show a bunch of vanity metrics like a lot of people in the AI space does, like 100X or 200X or 50X or 10X or something like that. I just wanna show a realistic example of what can be done with AI. To the average business, those stats sound like bullshit, but in the AI space, it's pretty modest. And it does make sense when you think about it. When you email a business or phone a business, you wanna be helped as soon as possible. The long you don't get a response, the more likely you are to find something or someone else to help you. I'm not exactly sure how to show this, but I'll try. We can increase the flow of our leads, but what does it matter if we're wasting most of them? In fact, we're not just wasting them, we're actually sending bad impressions into our target market. So if we improve efficiency, it doesn't matter if we have a strong or weak flow. We're making the most of what we have. I hope this little illustration helped. Thank you very much for watching. For business opportunities, email me here. To hire me, go here. Or if you just want to support, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel or you can follow me on my LinkedIn. I'll see you in the next one.